Hello YouTube, my name is Amy Sunshine Maiden, and today I will be playing the third chapter of Fantasy Maiden Wars. Okay, let's start. Hold on a second, guys. Um. Okay, um, I guess I can't figure out <clears throat> how to get my little video recorder thing in the corner of the screen for some reason. But I will still continue the game. We're in a human village. There's a bunch of people talking. Come on in, our chi our chicken is cheap today. Hey, miss, we got some freshly harvested veg veggies here for here. Wanna take a look? I just love coming to the market. Everyone's so full of energy. Almost makes me want to start helping out. Don't you agree, Sakia? <clears throat> Sakia, I hear you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make Sakia's voice funny. Um, let's see. I hear you. <laughs> He's just a bother to have him to have the to have to yell in order to respond. It's noisy. <laughs> I don't like it. Let's just hurry and finish our errands so we can return. Sure. I'm glad I happened to run into you here, though. Sorry for asking you to help when you're off to do it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Carrying bags is easy. I'm good at manual labor. I'm. I'll help you out anytime. Is that so? Maybe I should buy onions, carrots, and rice while I'm at it. Then, huh? You still have more to, you want to buy? Not to mention rice. Of course, we have to stock stock up on daily necessities. And perishables while we can. I guess that's true, but. My, my. If it, is, if it isn't the gatekeeper, full of energy as usual, I see. Oh, it's the old lady from the giant goods store. Hello. Out for some shopping, are you? You've been quite a bit there. You've got quite a bit there. You're quite the strong one, aren't you? I'm afraid my back won't let me do that anymore. No, but get out of there. Get out of there. I'm sorry, my cat was... Anyway. You shouldn't let yourself get weak like that. Why don't you try Tai Chun? Tai Chi Chun. It's a good. It's good for you. Oh, but if you're not feeling well, you shouldn't go outside from for tomorrow on. From tomorrow on. Really? Yes. We don't have time for your idle chatter. Our time here is limited. Understood, Mom. Ma'am, I mean. <laughs> See you later, Granny. Take care. Alright, goodbye. This is the second order, or third time I've gone to the human village with Sakula, but. Hey, check it out. Whoa, it's that chick that wears the western clothes. 
I see her around every now and then. I have seen her before. Her clothes are weird. Her outfit's kind of sexy. I like it. The owner of the second shop said that it's called a maid outfit. A maid outfit? No wonder it's so rare to see. Sakio sure stands out, doesn't she? I don't know about her appearance, but she looks so cool from behind. Her back's straight as a board and she walks elegantly. It's just... <sighs> Sakio. What? <laughs> um, why does it have to be tomorrow? It doesn't seem like the humans are paying much attention to the mist. A lot of people might take a turn for the worse if we suddenly make it thick. Why are you worrying about something like that? A milady, as my lady's servant, it is our job to carry out what she decides. That's true, but... Besides, it's not our place to care about what happens to the humans. Misakia, aren't you... Hey there. Hey there. What can I get for you? Could I get ten pounds of tough carrots, potatoes, and onions? You must be pretty strong, miss. Miss. You sure can carry it all with those thin arms. I will not be the one carrying the mini, if you would. Y you want me to carry all of it? That is why you are here, no? I have a few other things to pick up anyway. I will be right back. We shall meet up after that. Oh, and I will need you to get about ten bags of rice, if you would. Are you serious? Human village again. You bought quite a bit there, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. I don't come to the market very often, so there's a lot of stuff I need to buy. Didn't you just get a bunch of vegetables? <laughs> If there's if this mist gets thicker then the sun gets blocked out. So before the price goes up, I'm stocking as much as I can. Hey, it's your job as a shrine maiden to resolve this incident before that happens. You're shrewd about the state the strangest things. At least Say I'm 50 or something. Hey, wait a second. You bought quite a bit yourself, Kine. I promised someone I'd eat with them tonight, so I bought enough for two people. Oh, you're going to be cooking? Yeah, that person doesn't really take care of themselves healthy. I have to make sure they're... That... Uh, I have to make sure there's no starvation or lack of nutrition going on there. I see now. What's with the look you're giving me? Kain, is there a per the person is the person you're cooking for say your special someone? Special someone? Just what are you getting at? You nitwit. <laughs> You knit with that's uh, that's not it at all. Oh, you're getting uh, all red. Sure aren't hiding anything. Oh, shut up! I'm t I'm telling you, it's nothing like that. <laughs> I j I'm just kidding. Sorry for making you come shopping with me. It's gotten pretty late, so why don't we call it a, a day for now? Sure, thanks for helping me out today. 
we weren't really able to get any information, but... Worrying about it won't make it any better. That's true, we weren't able... No, it's true, we weren't able to find any clues, but... At the... Blah, blah, huh, I guess we'll just have to get out and start investigating. That's how it usually goes. If this really is an incident, I'll have to... I'll have it resolved. That's what I, we promised, right? Hey, you started sounding reliable all of a sudden. Is that so strange that you'd think I'd lose spirit because of something like this? I mean, hey, Rimu. Oh. That voice. Marissa? Hey, didn't expect to see you here. The Tingu are looking for a shrine maiden. The Tingu are looking for me? No, not you, but they're looking for a shrine maiden that's not Rimu. A shrine maiden that's not Rima? Huh? What are you talking about? How could there be another shrine maiden besides me? I know what you mean, but that's what they're saying. Maybe you're, you've are you got an arrival. Sounds like an imposter to me. The Tingu are the yukai that make those newspapers filled with gossip, right? Oh yeah, wasn't it called the Boom Boon Bon Maru newspaper? Boon Bon Maru or something. Yeah, can't you take what she says seriously, can you? You think it seemed like it was legit for some reason. So, what you doing here? Out for a walk or something? Who goes for a walk in the market? Can't you see I'm shopping? Huh, never thought I'd see you go shopping in the human village. Come on, even I have to go shopping every now- every once in a while. Do you- Rimu, do you know her? Oh, let me introduce you. This is Marissa Carcini. She's a magician. Nice to meet you. My name is Kine. Come on, I'm sorry. I'm a teacher in Human Village. You're a teacher, huh? Nice to meet you, ma'am. So, what are you doing wandering around here all day yourself? All by yourself. Oh, I'm not alone, um... Wait, Mar wait up, Martha! Hey, you for- I don't know what voice to make for Alice. Hey, you forgot to- hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying a bunch of different voices. Hey, you forgot to abanakia uh, your eating. My what lively friend you have friends you have. I don't think I know that Yukai over there though. What human? We are the human villages plus we are in the human village, plus you're hiding behind a human, you know. Nah, I'm already used to Marissa. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Ever since, what, the time you went moved here. Maybe I'm glad to see you doing well. You look like... You've gotten a bit taller, though. Have you been growing? 
What are you talking about? I'd say you're their guardian, from the looks of it. I'm glad, though. It looks like I finally found someone I can talk to. That wasn't my intention, but okay. My name is Alice, and I'm a magician. This little kappa here is Mutori. She's an escape from Yukai Mountain. I'm not in escape, it's just harder for me to go back right now. Or so she says. What what a strange mix so what are you do you guys doing here? Well, I wasn't gonna tell you, but I guess I've got no choice. Guess what, Rimu, to tell you? The truth. Why are you making a big deal of it? You're just gonna tell me you were investigating the incident or something right. Ouch! <laughs> She's sharp. Too bad you're not getting the jump on me this time. We started investigating a long time ago. What did you say? I was... I was sure you'd still be blazing around at the shrine about now. Of course not. Shrine maidens are specialties when it comes to resolving incidents. Hey, I had to force you to come along. Then Marissa wouldn't have to be you wouldn't have been far off. Ouch. <laughs> That's what I thought. You mean kind. What? It's true, isn't it? So are you two on your way back from investigating or something? Yeah, unfortunately we weren't able to gather any useful information though. What about you? We're following a lead looking for a suspicious maid. A suspicious maid? What does that mean? What does that have to do with this miss? We don't know yet. All we heard was that some strange maid around. Supposedly no one ever seen her before. If there's a weird maid, she's gotta have a weird master, right? Maybe that master's the boss. What are you gonna do if it's just a stray maid with no mastery? I see, that's a possibility too. No, it really isn't. In any case, where did you hear something like that? I heard it from this one fairy I know from a social network as wide as Argo Nivia, Nava. Can you really trust something something a fairy told you? I know what you mean, but we didn't have any other clues. Gotta go with what you have you have, you know. That's reasonable, however, the village is not a small place. I'm not sure if you you'll be able to find her. <laughs> That's easy. You just gotta have some zeal. Yeah, you never know. She might be drinking tea right over there. Yeah, right? There is no way it would be that easy to... Um... What's up? You don't think that's the maid standing right over there, do you? She looks just like one of one I've seen in books. What would you say? All right, it's well, let's get her. She is late. What in the world is Mailing doing? <laughs> we need to get back to the mansion before my lady wakes up. Hey, you maid. <clears throat> I'm with the.
Defense War, I need to ask you a few questions. Huh? Now, why don't you tell me everything you know about this incident? What are you talking about? I'm not sure I understand what you're going on. I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, don't just start yelling at, at her out of nowhere. Don't worry, that's just how it she is. What exactly is there to be work with me? Sorry about that. So suddenly. We're investigating the scarlet mist that's surrounding the human village. To that end, we're trying to gather information from the villagers. You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? How do you expect me to respond to such a big inquiry? In that case, you haven't been seen any suspicious people about here, have you? Suspicious is a rather arbitrary description. My answer would be no, even if I were to venture, I guess. To be perfectly honest, I would have to say you people fit the bill best. Why? Why you? If anyone here is suspicious, it's you. <sighs> be quiet. Don't make this conversation harder than it has to be already. I understand. Thank you for your time. We'll continue our best investigation. You sure we don't have press more? Her more shouldn't have. It gets rude if you you suspect someone too much. If anything, she should be doubting the credibility of our information. We got it from a fairy, after all. I guess that's true. Is that all you need? I'm afraid. I need to be meeting somebody. Yes, that's all I... That's all. Sorry to cause you trouble. <laughs> Sakio, sorry to keep you waiting. You are late, Mimi. I'm sorry, these bags were heavier than I thought. I bet things weigh as much as five Sakias. Um... Who are these people? Members of Jinsoko Defense Force. It would seem they're investigating the source of the Scarlet Mist. Wait, did you say they were looking into the Scarlet Mist? Yes, that conversation is over now. No way. They know we're in on it. How... How'd you cover... How'd our cover get blown? Huh? Mei Ling! Worry not, I hold Mei Ling. The Scarlet Devil's Dragon will protect you. Don't worry about me, Sakuya. Hurry up and get back to the mansion. Wait, huh? <laughs> this must be what they mean by letting the cat out of the bag. I wish it was this easy to find out who's behind an incident. <clears throat> uh, Sakuya, did you say something wrong? Did I say something wrong? It doesn't matter now. Yes, we know everything about the mist. Wait, are you serious? Yes, although you have no way of knowing whether or not I am lying. Not so fast. I am not sure. I see where this is going. Mind slowing down a bit. I agree. I mean, <laughs> that's not her. I agree. If we don't stop the mist, the human will. Mm. 
I have no interest in what will happen to the humans. In the first place, I am not the one who can decide whether or not to stop the mist. How can you say that? Aren't you a human too? Why don't we cut to the chase? If you're, if you can't stop it, then take us to someone who can. I will have to refuse, of course. This conversation is over. I can't hear that voice anymore. Ooh, that's a fun one. We are leaving, Mealing. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. They're getting away. I know. If we let them get away now, we're back to square one. Let's follow them. Man, who would have thought a maid would be related to the Scarlet Mist? This is... This is all happening too fast. I can barely keep up. Like I said, you just gotta have some zeal. And it'll work out. Oh. Yes, a fight. If it's a fight, I have it. Okay. Night, Silver Serpent, Chapter 3. That's probably not a bad formation. I'm sorry, I just skipped some text. They're coming, Sakia. Hmm, I thought they would be able to follow us with a flu if we flew. Normal people can fly, you know. I thought normal humans couldn't fly. More importantly, hey, please tell us what's going on. You're still one up on that? I don't think that they're in the mood that we're talking. You don't understand and nothing to say to the likes of you. <coughs> Looks like your plea for flea <coughs> flea flea fell flea fell on deaf ears. Then I guess you'll just have to tell us after we beat you out of your err, the err. It seems I am left with no choice. No one had me. Nonsense. I'll fight with you. Even holding all that baggage, you will, you will be fine. Hurry up and go. Tell you know the shattering for time. This is one of the specialties. Uh, uh, okay. Understood. I'll be waiting for you with back. You back at the mansion. Looks like I get to play with you for a bit. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. You've got guts talking to us all of you by yourself, taking us on all by yourself. How foolish. Take a better look. Why are there fairies in a place like this? Impossible. Did she anticipate being followed? She lured us into an area filled with fairies. Not bad. You cannot even touch me. At least you can come, you can amuse yourself with the fairies. He's mocking us. I can cross this distance and, uh, Marissa, watch out.
What the heck? You've got some nerve hiding behind a wall of fairies. These fairies have been strengthened due to the influence of the Scarlet Mess. One mess step and we can be done. This at this rate, we might they might get away from us though. If you think like that, you'll just fall prey to some Demaku. We don't have time to think well have to cooperate. I see, working as a team, huh? Are you with us, Missouri? Um, Alice? You know it. Well, We'll win if we work together. Yes. So if we're to act as a team, when we need to stop acting in our own. All right, let's break through the wall. We're fighting to see who can get more points. We move a score run. Don't tell me we. You think? Don't tell me you think we can. Win against me. You can. Is this going to be okay? Well, when we, when it comes down to it, I'm sure they'll work together. Do you really think you can defeat me simply by joining forces? If you can break through the fairies, then I will show you the difference in power between you and me. Well, we'll see about that. Just you wait. Let's go, everybody. Oh, what now? Well, that ghost is going to die. What? It didn't die yet? Damn. That's a strong ghost. Oh, I got you.
Oh yeah, Marissa. Hmm? What's up? What happened to that re reactor thing you were always carrying around? Oh, you mean, uh, Heko? Yeah, that. Weren't you boasting about how developing some new magical using of it? Yep, it didn't have enough output as it was, so... So I left it at Corrine's, so he could do some ma min maintenance. I told him to make sure it's ready for by tomorrow. Means Suku. Got it. Pretty rough. Hey, we don't have time for idle chatter. Our enemies won't wait for us. Yeah, yeah, I'm going already. She's a teacher, all right. Feels right. At home giving a lecture. Tell me about it. She's been scolding me all day. We do not. We do need to hurry though. Let's get going. What now? Oh. Do your thing. Oh, I got you. What now? Sorry. That was a strong attack.
I probably should have went for it. Oh well. Why isn't it there? Go, 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 go. Kill her. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, and yeah, let's move my side thing. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Neither of them hit her. That's fun. Okay. That was a useless battle, but that's okay. Dead. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I'm gonna hit you and you're gonna die. Okay. 
Now that we got all, that all cleared up. That's not gonna hit me. Oh, what? You go, Marissa. Show her who's boss. Or don't. Oh. Good job. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, if you're wondering why I don't read this text, because I read too slow and it goes too fast. <laughs> I'm sorry for those of you who would wish for me to. Right here and wait. Here and wait. Move. Here and wait. Move. Right. Here and attack. Move. Move. Marissa's getting the most action right here. Oh, oh, what? What now? Take that little ghosty cloudy Kamada thing. Do I have another person? Oh. I don't know why I thought there was five. One, two, three, four. Oh. There it is five. Enter. Oh my gosh, that took so much damage. Just kidding. It didn't take as much damage as she thought she was going to give me. Does that make sense? Boom. Take her out. Boom, boom, oh. But I can't attack. Okay, I guess just wait. Move right here.
I'm sorry you guys can't see me. Um, well, it might just be that I can't see me, but you can. So, either way, if you can't see me, I'm sorry. Because I am dancing like a maniac. Okay. Hey, why are you all the way back there? I need you to move right here. Okay. She's gonna get away. Okay. What I need to do is move <coughs> Marissa here and attack her. With all of my might. Boom. Boom. Alright, gotcha. To think you would be able to hold the eye of make me make it this far. Don't underestimate us. We won't let you escape. Boom. Her movements are totally off the wall. It's like she can teleport or something. What is it? Is she a yukai? No. Nothing's in particular sort of magic for her. She's just a normal human. What? Well, she doesn't look like a human. Did you say a normal human? I don't prefer if you did not dump her, dump me with human of that caliber. No matter what you say, a human is a human. You still insist on that. And allow me to show you the true nature of my abilities. Oh, it's a spell card. It's a cool one. It's very far spread. A spell card looks like that made isn't normal after all. There she's there is no time to talk. The careful be careful. Defeat Sophia. All enemies defeated. Defeat Sophia less. I don't think I'm gonna defeat her, but hey, anything can happen, right? Move um, right here. Wait. Move. Here. Wait. Thank. Here. If you were sent out to do the shopping, does that make you the un underlining? No, I'm the noble head maid of the maids are unreliable. In other words, if I beat you, then I become the head maid. The number of people who have said that only be only to be defeated. They are more uh, numerous than the number of planets in the solar system. Well, is it just Milk Milky Way that you're talking about? Because there's only nine planets here. I'm pretty sure she means the entire solar system.
Sorry, but that's it for me. Take care of the rest. This is the first time I've seen a real maid. I would appreciate it if you didn't not stare. Maids are not for show, you know. But I heard they are in the outside world. So you, you intend to treat me like that as well? How amusing of my my in my world of you are the one that is just for show. Um, that's a weird voice. But it's cool, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna defeat her, but she's just gonna run away and I'm gonna... Not to feed her. Okay. Boom. Move right here and attack her. Yep. When I heard the word made, I thought it might be her, but it seems I was just overthinking it. What are you talking about? I have an acquaintance who is nice. She's rather uh, strong. Is that so? I wonder if she would, if you would still feel that way after having us crossblades. Who knows? Just thinking about her make, takes me back, though. Come on, be critical. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Somewhat. Don't be critical. Damn it. Move her. Time, your tank, don't tell me. If I find it hard to believe you're a human too. I did say not to agree with them. And anyway, if you care so much about humans, should you not be worrying about the shrine maiden and the widow witch? Don't lump them together. The who I want to protect. Who I want to protect. Go. My hands smell so good. If you can see me, I'm sorry. I'm weird. I guess I have to end my turn now. I think I'm just gonna invade for this one. I guess. A reading makes it 70%, which is most likely going to hit me. So I may as well fly to attack her back. If she doesn't kill me. Damn it. 
Okay, she's probably gonna leave now. Cause... Oh, she didn't leave. Good. Okay. I'm scared, this girl. You know what, I might be able to heal her. Can't do what I can't undo what I did. Oh damn it! Oh well. Move right here. Why do I have to wait? I failed the freaking capture. Yeah, no. We're out of time. That should be enough time. There is no view to land in this thing here. The maid's trying to escape. Wait, there are still things we want to ask you. You're too late. Try coming two hours earlier. She just disappeared all of a sudden. That same technique she used before. She really gave us the slip. I can't even see her shadow. Who can we let her go? How can we let her go? Well, there's nothing we can do now. For now, let's head back to the village and discuss our options. Stage clear. Yo yeah, yo. Yeah. I didn't do like awesome, but I did okay, I guess. She ran away. And was she ever fast at it? Her ability to teleport is quite a, a nuisance. A deceptive mo move, indeed. She must be living s separated from normal humans, just like you guys. We don't have time for the idle chatter. Here I thought we finally found a clue, but we're back to square one. I wouldn't say that. We discovered that there's suspicious persons about. Well, that's true. What does it mean? Probably that this, this mist isn't a natural phenomenon. Someone's behind it. That girl with the scarlet hair was carrying a mountain of food. That They gotta have a base somewhere. I see. So we're facing some sort of syn syn syndicate. Then I don't, I've got to look up that word because I don't even know what a syndicate is. Okay, that seems likely, at least if you assume everything that maid said was true. If we know there's a suspicious person wandering around, then let's use narrow down our methods investigation. Alright, I think we should try to find out more about that girl. Let's try to get some information from the villagers. That might not be a bad idea. I'll try to look into things on my end. But how about we call it a day for now. We've been working non-stop since lunch. And personally, I'm starving. 
Yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. I ate all the, the cucumbers I, I bought during the battle. No, we need to start investigating right now. There should be quite a few people who saw the maid just now, right? Right, now? It's gonna get dark. Yo, ma'am. You can't use Demaku on an empty stomach, you know. Plus, you've got quite a few bags you're carrying there. Won't well, that ins what's inside go bad if you hang around too long? Oh, that's right. I need to make dinner. This might not be my business, but you might want to change clothes. You always attack head on, so they got pretty messed up. That's true. Fine, I guess we'll take a break for now. A wise decision. Letting one's fatigue build up results in a loss of efficiency. It isn't easy to persuade kind. Well, let's all carry up. Let's all call it a night. Yeah, the sun's going down. What should I do? Hmm? Still can't go back to the mountain? I mean, I just left in any... I, I just left, and anyway, I'm super interested about this... this incident. If I went back now, I wouldn't be able to leave again for a while. I guess I want to hang out with you a little more. Sounds rough. You want to stay at my place again tonight? Really? Thanks? What's wrong, Alice? You look troubled. Not really. I just think it's careless to let a yukai you barely know sleep in your house. Don't blame me if your liver gone. Liver is gone you, when you wake up. Um, Marissa has a really bad sleeping posture. I wouldn't be able to do that. Hey, you're you're the one that stole my futon. You two get along pretty well. Oh yeah, why don't you come too, Alice? I've been wanting to ask you about your dolls for a while. Sorry, but I'll pass. I'm exhausted, so I think I'll go home so I can get some sleep in my nice soft bed. Oh, okay. I guess I'll ask the next time we see each other then. Well, I need to be going. You all should get straight home now. No side trips, okay? We aren't kids, you know. Well, be fine. Anyway, good work today, kind. Forest of Magic. Hey, Marissa. What? Are you going to make another side trip today? It's not a side trip. I'm looking for some rare mushrooms. That's weird. I could have sworn they grew around here. Maybe it's for the better. We didn't find out what the cause of the mist was today. We didn't get to see the weird maid, though. Uh, we did get to see that weird maid, though. Yeah, but we let her get slip away. Well, at least we got something out of it. I made some more human friends and had some fun, I guess. That's what I got out of it. So, did you find the mushrooms for you were looking for? No, I got no clue where they weren't. They went. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Hey, Notori, you don't see any mush rare mushrooms around there, do you? What? Why? Why are you asking me? I don't know which ones are rare. Whoa, there's a huge spore floating over here, Marissa. Why don't you grow this? A huge spore? 
What is what what are you talking about? What's this? It ain't a spore. It's a Kamada. Oh really? It's floating. Here I go. Hup. Erg, I don't run when Erg, don't run when I'm trying to catch you. I guess that means it's alive then. Why you little Oh man, she's getting all worked up. You better watch her watch where you're going. You don't need to tell me Hiya Hiya. I want to say I told you so, but the commander ran off somewhere. Let's head home. <clears throat> uh, Marissa? What? The commander got Marissa? Shut up. I'm, I'm fine. I found the mushroom I was looking for. There's a whole bunch of them right where I fell. Awesome. What do you use the, those mushrooms for? There's gonna be a fuel. They're gonna be fuel for some new magic of mine. With all these, I won't have to do something. I'll have to show you how it's done sometime. I sure got lucky. This is a reward for being curious and following the Kamada. You just gotta get energy, huh? Let's head back now. Oh, those mushrooms are a weird color too. Aren't you talking, taking some of those back? Hey, I thought we weren't supposed to take in any side bits. I have returned, my lady, you little demon. A bit late, aren't you? I was so tired of waiting that I went ahead and ate supper already. My apologies, I was assaulted by some odd humans. Odd humans? Yes, they were able to deal with fairies and to meet up quite handily. They appeared to be searching for the source of the mist. They may even come here. Why are you so worried, Sophia? It's unlike you. Excuse me, I was out of line saying that. I'm not scolding you. Rather, if these humans know something, then things have just gotten a bit more interesting. They were... non it's a whole group of human. I've never seen such a human before. <laughs> you don't want them to come here, do you? Excuse me, I'm not sure I follow. It sounded to me like you wanted to see them again. You must be joking. I have no interest in humans. If you say so, could you bring out dessert? Yes, how about it? A deep red tart dripping with plenty of blood colored sauce. As you wish, please wait for a moment. Isn't the cranberry sauce a bra? I brought exquisite. Oh, I didn't know you were there. I finished what I needed to do. So now I have more time than I know what to do with. But I must say that human was pretty interesting. <laughs> of course, she's my Sophia after all. I'm intrigued. Not so much by the power she holds but by the color of her eyes. They're chilling like a pair of beautiful ice crystals. 
it feels like they're wasting on they're wasted on a human, but perhaps it's because she's a human. What are you getting at? I'm jealous, honestly. I can't believe you're having her do housework truly a waste. She deserves better. Sakiya's fine as she is. The finest jewels come to the shrine. Naturally, it needs to po no polish. You've really taken, taking. Wait, you've really taken a liking, a, a liking to that girl, haven't you? Of course, she's Sakia. Sakia's on a different level than most humans. So the fact that she's more warned me means that she's had met some truly rare humans. She met with such an interesting fate so soon. I might have not have a clue as to who those humans were. I'm sure they'll invade here soon. I'm looking forward to it. I wonder if they'll manage to make it to me. <laughs> who knows? In any case, did you say tonight would be We'd be bringing no. The full moon will come around soon, isn't that this is perfect time to get serious? I know. I mean, I know. Tonight, Jin Soko will sink in blah 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 blah. My sea of mist. In that case, it should be. About three days until land is completely covered by mist. Indeed, in three days the sun will disappear from Jinsoko. Darkness will devour the heavens and fill the land. Soon the area of night will be upon us. And then, make sure you enjoy it, okay? Make sure you enjoy it, okay? <laughs> well, here we are, home sweet home. No matter how I look at it, it's just messy. What? Last night you were running around fiddling with stuff so much. You sure were acting like... It was the best thing ever. Um, well, I guess my workshop is just as messy. You should probably throw away these weirdo dolls, though. I'll give them to, um, blah blah blah. And... What's with this, Kamita? I guess it ended up following us back. I don't remember there being any Kamita that had grudge against me or anything. All it's doing is floating there. It's suspicious. Maybe we should just get rid of it. No way. A waste. That's a waste. It's kind of interesting, don't you think? From the looks of it, I don't think it needs to be fed. I don't think there's they snore either. It's perfect for a pet. I don't know about food, but you're probably right about the snoring. Maybe I can teach it some tricks. It might even help with my demaki. Alright, I'm going to catch it, so it won't run away. Didn't you fall miser fail miserably when you tried to catch it before? Huh. Did you forget? This is my house. Just in case something like this happens, I have... Ta-da! A bug catching net. Ah. A kid's best friend during summer vacation. Huh. 
Easy. Hand Tori. Hand me an empty bottle. Roger. Wait. What? This. It smells kind of weird. That's because I kept a no key tape in there. Which supposedly stinks. I don't know what this, but it probably stinks. It's struggling. I guess it can understand what we say. I bet it doesn't like in in no okay type in no okay type either. Who cares? All right, I got it in the bottle. I'll win it over once it calms down. I think you're on pretty bad terms with it now, though. And no could take or tasty, right? I won't let my pet be picky about what it eats. Now, what should I call it? It's white, so I guess I could. I guess Shiro's fine. Well, that's what. Well, that was easy. Hard to forget, right? Right? No. I'm pooped from all this exciting excitement. Let's get the sack. Let's see what else is here. Hey, with a bit of work, I think this refrigerator could work again. I can build. I can't believe you just have this in here with a bunch of scrap metal. Hey Marissa, can I have this? Marissa? Oh, she fell asleep. That's no fun. I guess I'll just do a bit of treasure hunting on my own. Oh, what's this? It's a masa. Oh. Like Nari. Um, Marissa, Marissa. Huh? Whoa. Where am I? It's so dark. I can't see anything. Marissa, can you hear me? What is this? A dream? Go to the far side of the lake. Head for the Scarlet Mansion that lies beyond the lake. I hear a voice coming from somewhere. What did you say? Could you repeat that? The source of the Scarlet Mist lies beyond the lake in the Scarlet Mansion. Please hurry. A crisis will soon be upon the humans. I'm kind of guessing this is the girl with the red hair that told them about them being involved. A scarlet mansion by the lake? That's where the boss of this incident is? Who the heck are you? How do you know this? The devil who leads them is powerful. Please be careful. Hey, answer me. It was a dream. That was a weird dream. I don't remember eating any weird mushrooms, so. though. Well, won't do me any good to worry about it now. Guess I'll go back to sleep for a little while. Hmm. Sheesh, Tori fell asleep in a pile of junk again. It's going to be a pain to move her onto the futon. There's the Nakoto bottle. My pillow. By my pillow. Maybe the smell made me have that dream. I wonder what's up with this Kamita. Kind of weird that I'd come near humans on this tablet on its own. Though I did find the mushrooms I needed. For the master spark, thanks to him. I'll take care of him until I change my mind. Oh, right. I gotta get up early tomorrow, I bet. I better get back to sleep. 
be on the link, huh? Well, as long as we don't have any leads, it can't hurt to check it out. Alright, that's the end of this chapter. Um, thank you for watching, and have a great day, and I'm out. Thank you for watching.